Featured levels, you know what they are, levels with the yellow circle and the star rating. But what if I told you that I found many featured levels but with no star rating? But how and why can that happen? I'll talk about that later, but first, let's investigate. Let's investigate by playing some of the levels. The levels will get older and older the farther we go. The first level is named Razor's Edge. It's not that well known, but that doesn't matter. What matters is the level itself. Yeah, it sucks. Most of the level's inspiration is from Club Step. You can't tell at all. The second level is named Jump on Dark. This level is even less popular, and it's better than Razor's Edge. This level is full of annoying timings. Still sucks. The third level is an infamous one. It's auto, with over 4 million downloads. This level isn't that bad, though I wonder why Robta rated it normal and not auto, nor easy. The fourth level is called the Red Carpet. It's in its name. The floor is red, it's supposed to be a carpet, nothing really interesting to it. The final level is called the First Street Trials, and it's bad, I don't even need to tell you about it. Now, why are these levels rated with no stars? Why don't they carry any creator points? Is this a bug? Let's answer the questions. So why are these levels rated with no stars? Well, this is because stars were introduced in update 1.3 and featured levels were added before update 1.3, so only a couple of levels managed to get featured without a star rating. Why don't they carry any creator points? That is because creator points were added around update 1.4 to update 2.0, which is after the update when featured levels were added. Is this a bug? No, it isn't a bug. If you want to see someone do a jungle dash exam, click the video on the right.